Greetings, Game Timers. Welcome to Game Time. I'm your host, Kyle. For this episode, we have a nice unboxing, sort of a, a third-party console here called the Ouya. Let's see. Uh, we're going to take a look uh, what's inside, and then we're going to do some gameplay footage, see what uh, the console's uh, user interface looks like, and uh, what the games look like themselves, and the controller, and all that good stuff. And we'll do it next on Game Time. Okay, let's open this thing up. I got uh, I got mine at Best Buy. It's uh, $99.99. I did have a, a $10 credit there, so mine was technically only uh, $90, so that's pretty cool. Let's see what uh, it includes here. We got uh, the console itself, nice case. NVIDIA Tegra 3 Quad Core CPU. 1 gig of RAM. 8 gigs, uh, some storage. Expandable, we can get some more via USB port. That's pretty cool. Actually, of course, Wi-Fi connectivity. Nice uh, USB 2.0 port. Uh, wireless controller is included. Two AA batteries, probably for the controller, pretty nice. An HDMI cable, that's actually, that's very nice, actually. Not a lot of uh, consoles come with uh, some HDMI cords, so that's pretty cool that this thing uh, has one included. And on the back of the box itself, kind of what the uh, main menu is going to look like. I can see a little bit of that. Some of the games you can play inside. There's Final Fantasy 3, just a screenshot of that. A little bit of what it's about. And then, uh, yeah, more, some more gameplay. And uh, one more thing, every game is free to try. You can only buy the ones you like. And even them are only just a few dollars each. So, should be pretty cool. Just some uh, codes on the other side. Picture of that. So let's, uh, let's try to open it up here and see what is inside. We'll take a look at... That was a fail. We'll take a look at the controller and console and then some gameplay. Very tricky one-handed. Alright, here we go. So begins the revolution. I like that. <laughs> Kind of catchy right off the right off the bat. That's pretty cool, actually. All right, the console itself. Let's take a look at it for the very first time. Still got some plastic on there. Uh, be kind of nice to keep it on there. I wonder if I am able to. We'll see. So the console itself really just not very big. I'm thinking uh, almost Rubik's cube size. Quite honestly, here's just a pocket knife in in comparison. So that's pretty pretty weird. Actually, maybe the best comparison just within arm's reach is a deck of cards. So, it's very light. not exactly really, really light. It's a, a little bit of weight to it. And most importantly, the controller itself. That's pretty neat. Uh, very much like a uh, Xbox 360 controller. Looks like there's some plastic taping on there. There's the uh, thumbsticks buttons. I kind of like that. It feels uh, it feels very nice. It's it's cool. It's smooth. Uh, triggers pretty nice. And the notorious uh, trigger controls. Lots of complaints about that. You can... Uh, yeah, those are pretty cheesy. <laughs> That's kind of cheap there. And probably a home button. What's interesting about this controller itself, kind of like the upcoming PS4 controller, uh, not uh, released yet at the time of this video, this uh, entire black thing right here is actually a touchpad, so arrow on the screen can you know, kind of go around, so that's kind of neat there, and nothing too much on the back, I'm assuming uh, some batteries will go somewhere if it takes some batteries, but uh, we'll come back to that in just a few moments. And lastly, everything that's in the box itself. Kind of hard to see black on black, I understand. 
there is our HDMI cord. That's very convenient. It's very awesome that that got included. A couple batteries included. That's very nice as well. And one adapter. And a nice little uh, instruction manual here, kind of for our OUYA system. So good reading material there when you're on the job. So yeah, that's just the, the thing itself. This connects via Bluetooth, so there's no actual wired uh, controllers to that, which is both good and bad. So uh, let's have some fun here. So there's everything in the box. Nice, nice, nice cord. Not, uh, not including pocket knife and deco cards. So let's take a look at some uh, the user interface, what it looks like when you first boot it up. And uh, let's take a look at some, uh, some of the games that are available for this thing. Should be pretty cool. Side note, this is also where uh, everything goes on the console itself, the OUYA console. No doubt there's where the adapter goes, some uh, USB ports, or there's the Ethernet for a wired connection, presumably. Uh, there's the USB ports, a little main, mini USB and normal USB, and the HDMI cord, both all along the uh, side there. So, forgot to uh, mention that, but yeah, pretty neat. Pretty neat. Alright, now we will take a look at some gameplay footage. Okay, ooh yeah. Let's take a look at uh, so the user interface here. This is what you see when you first power it up. We have play, discover, make, manage. Let's take a look at uh, what each is. We'll start with the manage here. It's kind of, uh, can kind of manage your account, uh, controllers, hook up more to them, hook up to the network notification system itself. You know, advanced kind of takes us, since it is a uh, Google, or excuse me, an Android-based gaming console, so it definitely looks like the Android menu here. Uh, very much like Android, if you're familiar with that. So that's all that fun stuff. Make is kind of something very interesting. You get uh, some software. You can kind of design and make your own uh, apps and games for the OUYA. And I'm assuming maybe for Android as well. Not overly sure. But uh, that's pretty cool. And if that's the case, I would love to uh, spend some more time on that in the near future. I'd love to make my own little game for this. Discover. Here's where we go to kind of discover some games. Uh, I don't really like it's not really organized very well. Like, uh, we have the featured games. Okay, I can see that. It's kind of showcasing some games that are featured. That's pretty cool. Trendy now, kind of the popular games that are currently available. I have to keep adjusting my TV there. Sonic uh, Speedrunning. I guess it's just because I've actually downloaded a couple of Sonic games, so it kind of goes from my, you know, some recommendations there. Uh, but then we kind of get, uh, like, I don't really know why they're organized how they are. I don't, and there's no really method to the organization until we get to the very bottom. And then they're organized by, like, engineers. So that's pretty neat there. Should be on top, I think. Sandbox, and it doesn't really uh, describe what sandbox is in, as far as this term goes. So, uh, no idea, actually. It's kind of weird. There's a lot of uh, questions unanswered from that. And then the play itself, it kind of has uh, some neat little fun little games and, and apps that you have downloaded. For example, TuneIn Radio, of course, listen to your radio on your OUYA, Flickster, movie trailers and whatnot, Twitch TV, which I was kind of excited for. I'm kind of getting into that. But this looks like the mobile version of Twitch, which is kind of hard to search for stuff you want to search for. And it's kind of sucky on, on the mobile version, and unfortunately that's what we get on the OUYA. So, not a huge fan of that yet. We'll see. Maybe we can get a better version in the near future. Just Rain is another type of app. i got to show this one off right away, though. This is pretty, pretty neat. So, it's pretty much, uh, if you enjoy the sound of a good rainfall at night, this could be uh, something for you, and I know I always do. So, let's take a look at uh, what this is about, and... That's literally what it is. It's a nice free little app. You can listen to the rainfall. Let me turn up the volume here just a little bit so you can hear it. So you can go from that to kind of a lighter rain. Just very light. Now we can go down on the thumbstick and kind of get maybe to some heavier rain. All the way down to sort of a downpour and thunderstorms, which I like. 
That's a good night right there. That is. So I like that. It's a neat little. It's a very neat. It's it's very innovative. I really like having that. It's a. It was a great find, and it is called Just Rain. So let's hold down the home button here. All right. So that kind of does it for apps here. Let's take a look at maybe just uh, two or three games just to see how they play on the Ouya here on our uh, unboxing and gameplay wise. Let's do Sonic the Hedgehog 4 first. I think this is very impressive. I haven't, uh, this is just a demo. Oh, that's classic. That's nostalgia at its finest right there. So, yeah, this is just the demo version. You only get the uh, first stage. I'm thinking about purchasing the full version though because I haven't haven't actually got that yet. I always was planning on getting it on like the PlayStation Network, but I uh, never got around to it. So maybe this is a good incentive for me to uh, purchase uh, not only this one but Episode Two as well to finally have it for the first time. And you can see here, you know, these are how you purchase full games. You can go to the full version. And currently, right now at the time of this filming, it's six ninety nine. Um, not really pleased with that because I think uh, just on the Android version itself is $3.99 or $4.99 for just the uh, version for your phone or tablet. So the Ouya version is a little bit, uh, I guess a couple dollars more, but I guess it's also a few dollars more on the uh, PS3. So look at that. That is nice. Look how crisp those visuals are. And it's probably even better on the actual TV versus... Uh, what we're picking up on the camera. The sound effects are all there. I'm playing using the D-pad on the controller. I want to talk about the controller here after this particular stage. But uh, everything's kind of close up. Everything's just very bright. It's colorful. It's detailed. I love it. I love it. It can, it can get all your coins back easily. And the oh, dang it. and the sense of speed is is incredible on this thing too. The homing missile there. I love when you uh, rotate through the rings. You can kind of... The whole thing turns upside down. I really like that. I like that. That is neat. I love that feature. There's a little bit more of the homing attack. Kind of getting used to that. But yeah, this is a just a very, very impressive game. This is probably the best, most fun I've had playing a Sonic game ever since Sonic Adventure on the Dreamcast. That was quite some time ago, so this is definitely for anyone who, who loved Sonic 1 through 3 on the Genesis. Uh, yeah, you, you need to have these, uh, both Episode 1 and 2 games. On either Xbox 360, PS3, Android, iOS, or heck, now you can get them on the Ouya and play with the controller. It's very neat. I'm um, very tempted because, I, like I said, I don't have uh, any version of these games yet, so... It could be a nice little incentive for something uh, for myself exclusively on the Ouya. Sort of a good reason for a personal uh, exclusive to play. Man, that's a lot of fun. Alright, let's just finish up this stage here. Oh, I tried homing attack a little too late. There we go. I bet I'm at the end, too. I lost all my coins, yeah. <laughs> Imagine that. So there's Sonic the Hitchhog 4, Episode 1, running on the Ouya Android gaming system. Let's take a look at another game. Alright, here we go. we got to play some uh, Vector. This is a really great uh, free-running game. Uh, very simple controls, kind of just use the uh, analog stick mostly. Um, absolutely great music, and very artistic too. I'll just kind of skip the uh, intro here. I'm sure there's a, a very fascinating story. But uh, I'm turn it up here just a little bit so you can hear the great music that we'll be listening to. Vector. This is, I think, a must-own Anyone who is thinking about a Ouya, or at least has one, you gotta at least play the uh, demo version. And on the demo version, you just get a couple stages in the downtown world, if you will. 
I guess the full game also has a construction yard, technology park, and that's all for now, but I would assume there could be more in the near future. So let's play, and it looks like each world has uh, several stages. So we'll do the uh, World 1-1 one -one here, if you will, just to kind of show off what it looks like, and then we'll move on from there. But yeah, Vector, let's take a look at it. It's really awesome. Listen to that music. So you are the first free runner. Pretty much, I don't know why you're on the run. I was couldn't even assume the, it's explained in the uh, intro that we just kind of skipped over. There are things to collect along the way. But yeah, we pretty much just uh, move up on the analog stick to go up and jump. And then down on the analog stick to kind of slide under objects like so. Collect points and uh, coins. And I guess, yeah, we're kind of just on the run from the parkour fleece, I'm just going to call them. I don't know. Parkour fleece seems appropriate. Timing is everything too, so you want to be careful there. Here we can kind of dash and run faster, put a little distance between myself and him. That's sweet right there, I love that. I love to be able to do that in real life. But that music is fascinating. I'll just slide right in there, and a nice finish. Pretty simple enough, of course that was just World 1-1, one -one, so... Um, obviously it's going to get a lot more challenging later on, but... Uh, a very nice uh, intro, I think. I like it. I like it. And here we can go and buy it. Let's see how much that is by chance. Let's press the Y button here. Or or not. This might be for... Okay, I see. <laughs> to buy uh, different types of attributes. I see. Very nice. Uh, Vector is the name of that. I think uh, I think it needs to be uh, a must-own game here. This doesn't say where you can buy the full thing yet. Alright, so we'll end our uh, system overview and unboxing and some gameplay with... Uh, let's end it with Dub Wars. This is a very fascinating one. We're, we're going to see that in action. So yeah, anything that's been downloaded, I, I kind of have some Sonic games. I don't really need Sonic CD. I have it on my phone and tablet, but it was kind of nice to play that with the controller for once. Also, I have Red and Legacy. We'll be taking a look at that one in the near future on a future video of game time. So let's finish up with Dub Wars here. And this is a very fascinating uh, game. Pretty much a twin stick shooter. I think something like Geometry Wars or whatnot. But uh, instead of you shooting manually, the ship uh, shoots manually itself uh, to kind of coincide with the with the music. You'll see what I mean here in just a moment. We'll just do it on easy here. It gets pretty challenging. I think easy is just pretty much you'll be able to take more hits. So as you can see, the ship itself, you can move it left to right. You can rotate it, spin it around. But you don't actually do the shooting of the ship. It's all in time with the music. So you kind of have to kind of go out with the music as playing. So I'm not going to talk a whole lot during this uh, video. I'm just going to turn it up and enjoy. Alright. It's tricky when you're not the one actually uh, pulling the trigger to shoot your lasers. Here we have no beat, so we can't shoot. We've got to go defensive here. Here's some music. The beat has been dropped. This is a, a, just a really unique game. One of the most unique games I've played in, in quite some time. Only for its uniqueness, almost worth the price of the Ouya itself, the 99 price tag, U.S. dollars.
But yeah, all the firing is just done automatically. Uh, you just have to kind of aim where you want uh, it to go, but it's all in time with the music. I guess I don't listen to a lot of dubstep, but you know what? I kind of like it now. <laughs> I, I really look forward to future levels from this. Uh, this is definitely a game that I, I want to purchase and play a lot more stages slash music tracks off of. Alright, the beat's kind of quiet. All these things are chasing me here. Kind of slowing me down. Ooh. Really slow. Here we go. And I know my camera is not doing the game justice. This game as well is very bright, very crisp, vibrant. It's just a joy to listen to. I can't wait to hook it up to a stereo for better bass and then whatnot. But yeah, the uh, HD cord is supplied with the OUYA, so that's a nice purchase there, because HD, uh, HDMI cables, I should say, HDMI cords. Dora actually came with a lot of consoles, so it's kind of nice one was supplied, and I actually synced it up with my PS3, so I can also use it on the PS3, so I got kind of a two-for-one deal there. Because I never had one just yet, despite having an, an HDMI compatible TV. I'm taking quite a few hits here, so good thing we're playing on easy. We probably would have been a game over quite some time ago. It's almost hard to keep track of what's going on the screen. There's just a lot of things flying your way. But yeah, very Geometry Wars, very uh, Super Stardust-like uh, games like those. Only a lot more oriented around music. Fascinating. Can almost be put in a trance while listening to this. Which explains why I'm not doing very well. Considering this is an easy mode. But yeah, I would I would just love to play uh, more stages featuring some more music in this game. Try to get the, a good high score going. That would be nice. like we are about done. Very nice, very nice. Highly recommended. I love that. That is that is good stuff. To play the main menu, you can join the beta version for this game, kind of keeps track of your scores. So. There we go. Oh yeah. So, the time has come for some final thoughts and whatnot. Uh, the system itself is very small. It, you can fit it. I don't know. It, that's the that's the system itself. It's that small. Rubik's Cube size almost. Uh, very neat. I love it. It comes with an HDMI cable. Very nice. Uh, it's very simple to set up. Games for it, of course, Android based. They're inexpensive games. Nothing too pricey. Uh, I think it, it said what the 8 gigs of memory on there. So that's going to be quite a few games. Hopefully we'll see some better apps for in the near future. I think it's lacking in that department. Uh, there's just very few apps for it right now. Mind you, it only came out two or three months ago at the time of this video. So it uh, hopefully will be more added to it. I'd love to see stuff like uh, YouTube and whatnot on there. Some of more traditional apps I think would be pretty neat. I love the fact that it has USB ports so you can kind of hook up a flash drive or some ROMs. There's some apparently some pretty good emulators on the uh, Android market which work very well on the Ouya with the controller. And then speaking of the controller itself, uh, a couple of flaws, like I said, that touch screen alone, I, I kind of have some issues with that just a little bit. Um, and the triggers, that's really cheap. <laughs> Don't like that, but otherwise, holding it, it, it it's very really nice to hold. The thumbsticks are just in a good location. The face buttons, a uh, little getting used to just the letter-wise. D-pad works very, very nice. And the actual, like, shoulder buttons, those are, those are solid. I like those quite a bit. 
but yeah, the touchpad, it's hard to tell when the touchpad begins and <laughs> begins and ends because it goes right to the smooth silver portion of the controller. So uh, putting batteries in the controller as well, if you can figure out how to do it within the first 20 seconds of opening it up and looking at it, I applaud you. It was uh, difficult for me to find out where to put the batteries. They don't actually show you where to put the batteries and it's kind of weird. It's in a weird, weird locations. So... But overall, I, is it worth $99? I think so. I think that's just the right pr price point. I wouldn't pay too much more than that. Yet, uh, selling it for less than that kind of makes it look a little cheap. This is definitely a high-end, uh, uh, a good quality system. Even though, you know, some of the controller portions kind of seem a little cheap and, and whatnot. But I think this is a pretty good quality. If you have a lot of Android games or plan on purchasing a lot of Android games, Hopefully there will be a nice smooth transition where we can get the Android games that we already have purchased. Because I do have quite a few. I would love to be able to play, you know, at least half of them on this console here using a controller on a nice HDMI compatible TV. I think that would be just super sweet. I'd love to play GTA 3, Vice City, uh, Black Ops Zombies. I'd love to play some uh, Nova 3, Modern Combat, some of just fun shooters. I would love to use the, uh, the controller for those. So, uh... Hopefully, hopefully, with more updates in the near future, it's only going to get better from here. $99, I think, is just perfect. I wouldn't pay too much more than that. Uh, luckily, I had a $10 uh, uh, certificate to use at Best Buy, so it was only $90 for me. So that's an, a good price point, even better. So is it worth it? I think it is, if you're going to be doing a lot of uh, downloading Android games. And if you want just a nice alternative, too, if you like playing some of those Android games but don't necessarily like using a touch screen on the tablet or phone. I think this is perfect. A little bit trickier to find. I've got this at Best Buy. So far it's the only place I've seen it in retail stores other than Amazon and, and eBay. So a little trickier to find, but I think they'll be coming out more in the near future. I love the fact that the HDMI cable is included. Huge bonus. And uh, yeah, hopefully yeah, and it's and it's Bluetooth enabled, so if you have maybe some other Bluetooth controllers, we'll see on a future episode if we can sync up a PS3 controller to this, because that uses Bluetooth as well. I'm pretty sure we can, but we'll give it a try. So, overall, definitely a thumbs up, and uh, yeah, I don't know, 9 out of 10, I, I'd say. It's, 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 it's a pretty solid system, very reasonably priced, so... Leave a comment below on your favorite Ouya games or what you think of this uh, weird little Android console by itself. See what you think of it. Uh, leave a comment. Subscribe if you like and definitely check out. We'll, we'll be doing a few more Ouya videos here in the near future, kind of trying out some more games. And I love that. Every game on there is free to try. You get uh, a version of the game, either one stage or a time trial or some form of trial before you purchase the game. That's very neat. So... That already gives you right now 150 plus games to try out just on your, on your in your own times and on your couch. So that's cool. So that does it, everybody. I'm Kyle. Thanks for watching Game Time. Subscribe if you like. I don't care. It's not about subscriptions. Like the video and don't forget to check out our Facebook group page. I'll post uh, more uh, Ouya gameplay videos on our main home or on our main YouTube homepage. So definitely check that out. So you'll need to subscribe for that so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you, everybody. Stay classic and take care. Thank you for watching.